Greetings from Tijera. We are going to present on community cooperative farm. In which we are going to focus on a blend of traditional techniques and steam into community cooperative farm. Hello, I'm Bim Bima from Eleven Science. I contributed to the design and the construction of Great House and developed automatic door using Arduino Kit. I also use mathematical concepts of measurement, science, technology, and aesthetic in our design. I met in Gelsen from 9. For this exhibition, I took the roles of carpenter, electrician, painter, and designer. I am on the support of land science. In this exhibition, I contributed by setting up the soil moisture sensor inside the greenhouse, construction of the fence around the farmland, and assembled the improvised microscope. Hello, I am Premika Gurung from Levin Science and I have contributed to the designs and constructions of the farmland and developed an ultrasonic rudder to protect it. I also applied the steam concept in our design. I am Kelly Monchu of Levin Science and I have contributed by installing soil moisture sensor in the greenhouse, fencing around the farmland and developing the improvised microscope. Sometimes electric fans have become ineffective at protecting the farmlands from wild animals. Therefore, the farm boundaries are safeguarded by radar technology to detect and alert the presence of approaching animals by emitting high frequency of sound waves. <coughs> this radar is calibrated for a range of 40 cm, but in pr practical use, it can also detect the presence of animals based on the set a buzzer and light system not only signals the farm owner but also aid in repelling the wild animals. Inside the greenhouse, the technology enhances the efficiency of the work. The automatic door has an ultrasonic sensor that detects the distance of 20 cm that has an ultrasonic sensor connected to Arduino Uno. The workers can enter hands free, making the works easier. And the buzzer goes off whenever someone enters. Soil moisture sensor monitors the soil, ensuring the optimum crop health. This system decreases the manner of work and improves the greenhouse efficiency. An improvised microscope is employed to study and diagnose the crop diseases, enabling them for timely intervention and better management practices. In our improvised microscope, the raw materials required are wooden plank, two bottles, Two lenses, a permanent slide, cello tape, scissors, and a uh, And in this project, uh, we use the cell phone slide as the light source, which passes to the permanent slide. Now the light passes to the specially designed black hollow bottle, where the unwanted reflections are minimized. At last, the light reaches the eyepiece, where the image is being captured by the cell phone. With the help of many technological devices, especially laptop, we can share the captured image very easily. Now, we plan to share this idea to many other nearby schools in Tahana, especially where there is lack of microscope. Our exhibition also features in traditional farming techniques, including wooden vegetable chopping and flour. In conclusion, STEM subjects are effectively in integrated in our exhibition, as demonstrated in the models. Mathematical concepts are applied to ensure precise measurements in building greenhouse, with careful attention given to aesthetic. Integrating technologies like radar, buzzer, automatic door, sensor, and microscope in one system can create compatibility and technical challenges, requiring thorough planning and expertise. I didn't know.